What's up everybody, Kraken Packs here. Today we've got a little bit more of a, uh, a freeform video, something a little different than I typically do. Um, we've got a little bit of a mail day. We've got a quick little battle bond battle, funny enough, a BBB. And I'm probably gonna throw a few giveaway winners at the end of the video, so stick around for that. So let's get these open. Some of my subscribers, uh, also members of my Facebook group, Bo, Message me, he's like, hey, me and a friend of mine want to do a little battle bond battle. Can you accommodate it? And I said, yeah, give me a couple days. I'll get it put together. So, there's Bo. This is Jason. This seems to be a hot set with everybody right now. This and Modern Horizons. Alright. So we've got six packs apiece. I'll tally up the value. We'll see who wins. And I'll let them decide what that did. I don't, they didn't specify if one person gets all the cards or how it works, but I'm assuming that's what it is, but I'll let them decide. And we're about to start cracking here. So we'll just start over here on the left with Bo. Of course, we've got our handy dandy little pull taps here. We have a warrior, planes, and a, we have our first partner pair. We have Zender Split and Okun, Eye of Chaos, Chain Lightning, that's some value. All right. I think our Chain Lightning is probably the most valuable one out of that pack. Actually, let's go, uh, let's go one pack, one pack Bo, one pack Jason. We'll do it that way. Build a little suspense. Creepy Zombie, Mountain. Our first foil has a fill with fright and a sea of clouds. There we go. I feel like out of these six packs, the sea of clouds and the spire garden, the red green one, they seem to show up more than any of the other battle lands or command lands as I've, as I've uh, affectionately named them. Let's see, let's keep all the, let me, let me get it together here, guys. Hold on. Let me keep all the, all the stuff that I'm gonna, there we go. All right, getting together. Back over here to Bo. So I don't know if you guys saw the announcement today, but we're getting another master set, Archon of Valor's Reach, and it's gonna be called Double Cheeseburger Masters. How do you guys feel about it? There's a lot of people upset about it, saying it's gonna kill the price of singles, or, um, I'm pretty pumped about it because I love opening packs. And if there, there's some spicy packs with some really awesome stuff, I mean, it's got Mana Crypt in it again. We've got a Traxa. There's a really sweet doubling season that's got a bunch of little baby dinosaurs in it or baby dragons. Angelic Course. So I'm, I'm all in on it. I can't wait to get my hands on it. It's uh, It looks really, really cool to me. And they said no, no fetch lands though. So I'm guessing maybe those are, are going to be in Zendikar as lottery cards, maybe. Nobody knows yet. All right, Bo, you need some help here. Play of the game. I don't think that's the help we needed. The thing with Battle Bond is all it takes is one card though. We have our second partner pair. We have Vitrus the Veiled and Gorm the Great. He's, they've got some really weird shields there. What are those, dragon scales maybe? I don't know. Sky Shroud Claim, that may, that may uh, add a little value. I don't know where that's sitting currently, but We're halfway in this battle. We're not in a hurry. Like I said, this is this is just a free form. Taking it easy. Taking an easy Thursday night. Thursday forever. Did I say Thursday forever? <laughs> Together forever. They both started with a T, so I was close. All right. Come on, man. We need some hits. Where are the hits? 
Warrior, Foil Plains, and a Goblin Rays Runners. Boo. That's not what you want to see. Back to Bo. We've just evened the playing field. Another Sea of Clouds. Like I said, and a Swords of Plowshares. And a Peregrine Drake. That was a good pack. Like I said, I think the Sea of Clouds and the Spire Garden are probably the two most common in these six packs. I don't know why that is. If there's a different track printing. Or if it's just been, been my luck with them or my experience with them. But that's just what I have noticed. Seedborn Muse. I think Jason M just pulled back ahead. Genesis Chambers might be worth a few cents. We're only going to count stuff over a dollar. All right, last pack. So Bo needs a hit here. Here we go. Mountain. Got me pumped for a second. It's just a foil tyrant's machine. <laughs> Luxury suite. That's the hit he needed, I think. You don't see a whole lot of these out of the these in the morphic pool seem to be the most elusive in these six packs. So that is really cool that we got one. Alright. Good deal. Last pack, Jason. Alright, here we have our mirror. We have a Plains. It all hinges on this card right here. It's a rare. Diabolic Intent. Man, that is, I think that puts it over the top. This card is like crazy expensive. So I think Jason just pulled this one out on the last pack. We started off slow, but this one ended in absolute haymakers there at the end. That was really fun. Well, uh, let me get these totaled up. Here in just a bit and I'll put the prices up on the uh, screen for everybody so we can see the final totals pretty happy about that both both sides had some good cards that diabolic intense just hard to beat all right now like I said we're gonna have a mail day if I can find my mail this is stuff subscribers have sent to me Derek W has sent this to me so um, I have no idea what's inside so let me check that make sure there's nothing I can't show on screen And there's a note here, so, and a dice. Okay, so I have no idea what I'm getting myself into, so uh, we will see. Let me, let me read this. All right, Matt, the black box is for you and the green thing is for vids. I'm guessing he's telling me I need a new dice because the ones I've got um, tend to roll the same numbers, so thank you for that. The green thing is what it's called. The cards are not much, but they're for giveaways. Well, I sure do appreciate that. So here are the cards. So these will be uh, given away for future giveaways. We have a Safara. She is a, wow, a lightning angel. That's a real, that's one of my favorite just cards and arts in general. Safara, she's a beast. I'm surprised she hasn't seen more play. Voice of All, Sarah Guardian, Light of the Legions. Wow, that's a really good looking card. Magister of Worth. Filigree. He said these weren't much, but they look pretty sick to me. This is a pretty good stack of cards. Phoenix of Ash. Storm's Wrath. That's seen quite a bit. Foil Celestial Kirin. Wow. That's a uh, that's a mystery booster one. One with nothing foil. Mystery booster. And an Arasta. I think this is the bundle, uh, bundle art. But uh, that Lightning Angel, that's one of my favorites there. So that's that's really cool. Thank you, Derek. And we have another one. I don't know if it's the same. It's starting off with a Sephora. I said Sephora, not Sephora. We're not going to buy makeup. Okay. It looks like they are both. Wow. They're both the same exact packs. That's really cool. That's really cool. Okay. Really, really cool. Thank you. Thank you. And there's also something in a in a in a box here. Let me uh, scoot these out of the way. 
and see what this is. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm allowed to open this on, on camera. Maybe he's telling me I need to quit using my girly craft knife and use something more, more, uh, more masculine. Is that what, is that what you're trying to tell me, Derek? Oh man, I can really get into some things with this. Look at that. That's flipping awesome. I almost cut my thumb there because uh, that is really cool. Look at that thing. Okay, awesome. We're about to use this because we have some more mail from another subscriber. This one comes from, whoa, hold on professional channel here slow down the one and only hermy tig yes the one that had me burn a mana crypt with a torch that guy he saw everybody getting in on the walmart battle bond and modern horizon action and he's like i've got to get some too so he sent these to me he said open these on camera he probably told me to do something crazy like burn one or put it in a blender um i don't think we're going to do that I think we'll just open them and see what we get out of it. And then I don't know if he wants me to send these back to him or what, but I will ask him. But it should make for some good TV or YouTube, whatever you want to call what we do these days. I think it's kind of replaced TV. There we go. A couple of modern horizons. These things are getting... Uh, pretty expensive all right here we have where do we want to start let's start with the horizons here let me put my knife away before I I cut myself thank you again Derek that's that's awesome of you to send that to me and these don't have the tabs so we're gonna have to do these old-fashioned way so thank you Hermie for sending these to me. There is a Yogmoth and a snow-covered plains with a fiery islet. First pack. There's a munitions expert. I just actually got that play mat the other day. I don't know if you guys noticed it or not. So that's a good common. I don't know if you guys noticed that play mat, but I did get that in. Fiery islet. That's a very good first pack. With these Modern Horizons three packs, I've not had a ton of luck out of them, so that's a maybe that fiery eyelet's a good sign that it's about to change. We have a crazy looking card, we have a snow swamp, and a force of Viger. That card's okay. It's not the blue one, but I guess if you're not gonna get the blue one, it's probably the next best one. So not too bad. And my suggestion is, if you guys want some Modern Horizon boxes, now's probably the time before they get out of reach. Because I think they're about to get expensive within the next three to six months. Snow-covered forest. Maybe this guy will be hiding behind the forest. It's just a rare. But I think it's a waterlogged grove. It is. That Can't complain about that six-pack. Two of the Horizon lands out of three packs. And a decent rare hit in the other one. That could have went way worse. So, not too bad there. And let's check out how he does with his Battle Bond Adventure. The pulls that people have been getting from these have been absolutely nuts. So, we'll see if that continues. Not so far. Nyaxid. Is that how you say it? Nyaxid. He's just going to be an elemental today. Mind's Eye, that's an okay pull with a Spell Snare. Shock. Planes and a Luxury Suite, okay. So far, so good.
Has anybody here ever been blazed for lethal damage? That really hurts. Magus of the Candelabra. Evil twin. Come on now. Planes. Battle rattle shaman. And a vitreous and a gorm. We saw those in the last Battle Bomb packs we opened. Two packs left. I'd like to get one, one good mythic hit out of it. So is this the pack? Just a rare. Oh, it's a Raze Runners again. All right, last pack. Planes, greater good, not terrible. I really, the greater good's one of my favorite cards, so I'm not mad about that. All right, that's the end of this part of the video. Um, I don't know if you guys are tired of Ikoria yet or you're still hyped on it, but if you want some, I've got a couple Amazon links in my description. That helps the channel out. I also have a Facebook group, Kraken Packs MTG, if you want to join it. That's where I schedule all my breaks if you want to get in on some of that. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like the video, and leave me a comment because I do giveaways all the time. There'll be a few announced as soon as all this is over with. If I can figure out how to edit a video, I can probably probably figure it out, but we'll see. Um, we'll get back to the regular pack cracking schedule here shortly. And thank you guys for joining me again, and have a good night.